Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing a quick unboxing video for you on the 2017 and 2018 Marvel Unlimited subscription boxes. I think these are the premium subscriptions that I have. It costs about $100 a year for these, and you get an unlimited supply of Marvel comic books through the Marvel Unlimited app, and they also give you this extra box full of treats, which is mostly comic books and, or exclusive comic books, pins, things like that, and a Marvel Legend. So that's one of the reasons why I like getting these subscription services, but the main reason why I like getting them is reading comic books through the app. I also get my hand paper, or, you know, the paper comic books, I get those uh, also, but uh, I mostly use the service like for, you know, when I'm doing a review on a character that I'm not that familiar with, like Camilla Khan, like that's an example, and I read some of her issues and that actually really got me to know the character and it just makes for a better review, right? Because there's some people that are huge fans of these characters that I may not be that familiar with, so I try to catch up to you guys, right? So anyway, this 2017 box, I had opened it when I first got it, and I wasn't that thrilled about it, and I just never really, you know, did much with it, so I'm gonna open this up again. I don't really remember exactly what's in here aside from the Captain Marvel, and then this brand new one right here, you're gonna see me open for the first time. So let's get to it and crack these things open. All right, so we're gonna start over here, and as you can see, I had already cut it open, and you flip it all the way around, and then it says, show off your Marvel Unlimited Plus member membership kit using hashtag Marvel Unlimited. So there you go. And then you get this thing right here. Uh, it's kind of telling you what's in this kit and I'm not going to read that. So, uh, oh, I wish they would bag and board the comics. So what do we have? We have Black Panther number one. Okay. I don't think I've actually read this issue. Um, oh wait, no, actually I think I did. I did read this issue on my Marvel Unlimited app. Uh, yeah, I read this already on the Marvel Unlimited app when I had gotten the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Vibranium uh, Black Panther, AKA the Pink Panther figure. And I had read through this and I just wanted to see, you know, some images of that Vibranium power set. And I had mentioned in that review that, you know, there's a lot of old Wakandans hanging out, talking to each other and stuff and dealing with politics. But yeah, so now I have a hard copy. Um, I think I'm going to reread this though just because I have it. Yeah, yeah, I would like to. And then we have Shuri right over here. Skip to the end. Oh, spoilers. I mean, come on. This is pretty old, right? This is from last year. Then we have Doctor Strange. Cool. I have not read this one. Is this the Aaron run? Is this part of the Aaron run? Let's see. Yeah, Jason Aaron right there. And I do have this issue already, I think. I actually bought the hard copy to this. If he's walking around Bleecker Street, or yeah, I, I don't remember off the top of my head if I actually read this one, but I'm fairly certain I did. And then we get a new Captain Marvel book. And, and these are all variants, by the way, so I don't know. They, they might be really expensive. I have extra bags and boards, so I'm probably going to bag and board these and just hang on to them. I definitely did not read this. Oh, this is part of Civil War 2. Okay, so I did read Civil War 2, but I didn't read these particular issues. So I may go ahead and, you know, spend a few minutes reading this. All right, yeah, I do remember that she's in charge of the new Alpha Flight, which is up in space and everything, you know, space station where you see some Kree, Kree captain. There's a Sasquatch, all right? So you got something you could pose with your Build-A-Figure, Captain Marvel, Sasquatch together right there. So I'm gonna take a read with that one. And then lifting this up, we get a cool, oh, I didn't notice that this was in there. Look at that, we get the Eye of Agamotto, all right. Nice looking pin. I'm definitely going to either put this on my jacket or on my bag. I'm going to find a home for that for sure. I love the Aya Vagamoto. That is very cool. I'm stoked about that. And then we get the Black Panther patch. Oh yeah, I saw x Men 87 use this uh, for his throne, for his uh, Wakanda throne for Black Panther, for T'Challa. That is cool looking. I like that. And it looks similar to the logo that Chris Lyons used on that custom diorama that he sent me. The silhouette of it does at least. So, or it looks similar anyway. So that's kind of neat. So this is the Wakandan flag. Pretty cool patch. I don't know. That'd be kind of neat to sew that onto my jacket. I might do that. And then we have the Captain Marvel figure right here with her Guardians. Is this her Guardians? Uniform or her Alpha Flight uniform? I, I don't really know. Now I've already reviewed, you know, the Captain Marvel figure, but this is the first time I'm taking this out of the packaging. It's great that she has the interchangeable heads. Gonna move this box off to the side, and yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Wow. Yeah, get a little bit of stress mark. Not stress mark, but a little bit of marbling. Not really. I don't know. Let's get a closer look at this. Come on. Eh, actually, it's not looking too bad. Paints all 
you know, look fairly clean, right? Can't really complain about this too much. Both head sculpts look good. You know, we've seen these before, so not too new. Uh, there's the original Captain Marvel figure. So yeah, all right, all right. So we got the black and or the gray and blue right there. Pretty cool. I don't know, just to do a side by side comparison with this head on here. Oh yeah, I could see some marbling in the gray on the top of her head. But this is kind of neat. I don't know. I think I could find a home for this, you know? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Not too shabby at all. Maybe I could put this one with the Avengers and then this one in the Cosmic Being section in the dork room. I don't know, but yeah. Pretty neat. Not the most excited for this, obviously, because I've had it this whole time and I haven't opened it. So, yeah, I, I have to think pretty hard about exactly where I want to put that in the display. Okay, on to the 2018 subscription box. This looks pretty nifty right here. Not too bad. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm doing this all in one take. Oh, man, lost. Uh, so I think it's a Tony Stark figure uh, where he has a brown suit. But, yeah, a lot of errands uh, running around today with the wife and taking care of a lot of business. And got me a Costco card. So, yeah, got, you know, just parent stuff. But, anyway, I like how you can see all these characters around the very top. Spider-Gwen, you know. I don't know who that is exactly, but anyway, cracking this thing open, and ooh, you get Captain America, some Avengers, and Doctor Strange, ooh, nice image right here, okay, cool, I like the Scarlet Witch, looks pretty nifty, and then uh, same kind of deal, thank you for, you know, Marvel Leba, and I'm not even going to read it, but first off we have Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series, okay, looks kind of neat, wow, Spidey's leg is, that's a spider pata way up there. Got, whoa, I don't know about this artist, man. I'm a little, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look bad. I mean, definitely way better than anything I could draw, but I mean, I don't know. That throws me off a little bit. But let's see. This is a variant edition, issue number one of Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series. I think I have this one. I think I read this one already. I think I did. I may not have. No, actually, as I flip through it, you know, I don't think I've read this. Because there's that one point last year where they released like three different titles at once. I remember I picked up two of them. I don't think that was one of the ones that I got. And then there's Edge of Venomverse, number one. This I definitely have read. See, it's hard to remember because I've read so many books, but they have all these variant covers. So it gets tricky to remember. But yeah, so wait. X-23, eating french fries. I don't remember reading this particular issue now. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, wait, I don't remember this. Oh, this is the Edge of Venom vs. All New Wolverine, but I read All New Wolverine. Okay, so this may just be a new issue for me to read. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't remember that. I'm gonna stop, you know, going through that. And these are, you know, newer, so I'm gonna take a read for that one. And ooh, Spider-Man 2. I know I read that series. I've been reading that book as well. And then we just have gotten some new Thanos figures that have this look for Thanos, which is kind of neat to see. Comic book form right here. So that's pretty nifty. And then, uh, yes, okay. I definitely remember reading this one. So yes, I did read this one. All right, and that's a, that's a pretty good read. Yeah, the two Spider-Men, Peter Parker and Miles Morales teaming up and they fight the armadillo. I remember this, I like the artist in this one too. So yeah, that's a good read. Very cool cover though. I'm probably keeping this just for the cover. I like that. And then, let's see what we get here as far as patches and pins. All right, Thanos patch. Pretty cool, Alrighty, I'm stoked about that. Can't complain, pretty nifty. I dig that, ooh, nice. And Captain America and Spidey pins. Oh man, these type of pins are hard to put on my jacket just because you have to go through the back end and then the front. Like I like them where they just weave through, you know? So I'll probably put this on my bag that I use for work or something, but that is cool. I like that. Same thing with the Eye of Agamotto. I'll probably put that on my, on my work bag. So that's pretty neat. I like that. And then lastly, all right, an official Tony Stark. Yes! This is cool. I'm especially excited for this, not just because, oh man, this actually came out looking really cool. Uh, I'm first impressions over here. Now, originally I thought he was going to have a brown suit, but uh, he has brown loafers right there. So that's pretty cool. But I like how this looks, man. Nice, it's like this weird metallic black color. It does definitely have a shimmer in the material and it's a lot more reflective in the arms than in the jacket because the jacket they used you know a little bit softer material of course 
And then he has a gold tie and he has this brown shirt. So that's probably why I thought he had a brown suit on. And we do get the same exact uh, head sculpt as Tony Stark, you know, from uh, the movie. I think it was the Mark 46 that came with this. I can't remember. And they have the more matted plastic. So his forehead's not all shiny like how it is on this one. This one's a lot more matted. I like that more. And I like the gold tie. I mean, with the much snazzier suit and everything, that is way more fitting for Tony Stark. This is totally taking the place of this one on my display shelf, for sure. Oh man, I am stoked about that. That is cool. This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Yes, the articulation, I mean, it's obviously the chameleon body. The hands are exactly the same. So you can see that, hands are the same. Hand right over here, same. Whoop, dropped it, but yeah, you can see. Same right hand over there too. So I am liking this a lot. I am very pleased with this. Wow. Now I don't recommend getting the subscription service just to get this one figure. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a hundred dollar subscription service. So if you're reading, and I do consistently read my comics on Marvel Unlimited, so it's very worth it to me. He does have a little bit of the forward back file driver thing going on. So make sure that you have it set back right there. But that is cool. I am very happy with that. That is nice. That's a nice dapper suit right there for Tony Stark. He totally deserves it. Yeah, I like the loafers and everything right here. Cool, man. Out of all the subscription uh, figures that I've gotten from Marvel Unlimited, uh, the Pepper Pots and this one right here are my two favorites. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's my video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. It was just something really quick to do. Had a really busy day, and I thought I'd throw something up on the channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, stick around tomorrow. I'll have a brand new review, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!